what hurt. I mean, really, words can't explain it. Um, you know, it was just a, a total team loss. You know, we, we, you know, obviously didn't make enough plays on offense. You know, to win the game, and uh, that's what hurts the most. You know, uh, we can't control you know everything that goes on. But uh, you know, there's no, nothing really to say about it. You know, everything was left out on the field. Uh, I think you know we all played hard. Um, you know, we just didn't execute uh, to the best of our abilities uh, out there today. Is it an emotional locker room right now? <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, you know, it's always emotional. Um, you got a bunch of guys in there, you know, different characteristics. But, uh, you know, um, you know, we're, we're, we're a team and we're in it together. And uh, we're going to continue to, you know, just fight. And, you know, we're, we're going to pull together and, you know, try and get these last three. Did you evaluate your own performance today, what, what you were able to do out there? Uh, I'm not, you know, able to, you know, fully evaluate it. I have to go back and watch film. But, uh, you know, just from, you know, you know, I look at the mistakes that I made and they were costly mistakes. I turned it over, you know, in, in the red zone. Um, you know, I made a couple of bad decisions that, you know, I wish I could, you know, have back a couple of throws I wish I could have back. But, uh, you know, it's all a learning experience. And, uh, you know, it's just something you got to learn from. You know, on that third and I believe it was third and two at the end of the third quarter, uh, you guys ran that play quick and, and it was an incomplete to Stedman. What did you see on that? Because Dana said it was run pass option. What did you see? Uh, uh, you know, something we worked on in practice. Uh, they gave us a look we wanted on the outside. It was one-on-one. -on -one. I think, you know, defensive back, you know, just had, you know, good leverage. And, uh, you know, maybe I should have handed it off. You know, they had a couple guys in the box, but, uh, you know, I should have trusted it, handed it off, and, uh, you know, see where the gaps. Big turnover is going to be a big focus this week in practice. I mean, it's always been a focus. You know, we always focus on, you know, the little things, and, you know, we focus on, you know, especially not turning the ball over because that's the most important part of, uh, of offense, you know, get first downs and uh, not turn it over. And uh, today, I think, you know, we, we coughed it up a, a couple times, you know, myself included, you know, maybe – two or three times, which is, you know, terrible. And, uh, you know, something i got to work extremely hard to get better at. And, uh, you know, I'm going to come back tomorrow and, you know, just grind it out. Where does the team go from here? What's the message right now in the locker room? We can only go forward. I mean, you know, it's about as low as it gets for me. You know, I hate to lose. Um, you know, it's a tough loss. But, uh, you know, like I said, we can only go forward. we got to come back tomorrow. we got to watch the film. we got to get better and, you know, just you know, just listen to our coaches and, you know, everyone pull together and, you know, we're going to fight it out. performance and, and I guess what this, what this loss means for you guys? I mean, uh, like Coach Hogan said, we had a great effort, but at the end of the game, we just went and pulled out and made that one play we needed on defense. Um, I mean, for the loss, nobody really like losing, but at the same time, we just got to take and get to get better in practice. How frustrating is it for you guys to be so close? I mean, to be able to get that drive, even when you guys were down, get that drive late in the game and, and not be able to finish it off like that? Well, besides the drive, we were just frustrated because we just, we just got all this hair on the team. And really, nobody really not to be stopped when it's like that, how, how we can stop. So, I mean, but as far as the drive, I mean, we came up strong, but at the same time, they came down there and scored a touchdown on them. We really needed it, but uh, hopefully everybody just stay together. This is like being on the sideline there in that, that last drive that they had where you know you guys had just scored and pulled within three and it looked like you had all the momentum in the world and about a seven minute drive for their offense. What was it like for you guys just being stuck on the sidelines? I mean, you just sitting over there, we just you think of somebody gotta make a big play and uh, you gotta give it up to Louisville, they protect the ball and you know, he they did a good job with it, moving the chain. So I mean I had to go off to him, they had, they had a good game. Talk about Gino, what, what he's able to do out there. He, he had another pretty, I guess this has been a pretty good game, but he said it doesn't really mean anything to him after a loss like this. Yeah, he's right. I mean, definitely. I mean, I mean we, we, he can throw for all the yards. I can run a whole, a whole bunch of punts back. At the end of the day, a loss is a loss. So nobody don't see what we did. Speaking of running a bunch of punts back, you didn't run many back at all today. I mean, um, do you wish that you had some of those back, or was that the right decision for all of those? No, he definitely the right decision because um, they got good special teams, and they came down fast. and. Every time I caught the ball, probably about three or four people in my face, so I definitely wouldn't have no chance to make no play. So, I mean, they had a good spread team, so. I mean, after you have a couple of plays that you don't make, you're able to battle back and have a couple of big catches, obviously, try to get back in the game. Are you putting that pressure on yourself to, you know, thinking that you've got to make it up? Well, definitely, you know, the plays that I've missed today, um, those are plays that I'm, you know, used to making, and, um, you know, those are pretty much routine plays for me, so I kind of was down on myself and kind of knew that I had to, you know, Bounce back and make a play. This is the same type of situation you guys were in this point last year. How you guys come back and try to win the rest of the games? Just gotta, you know, <clears throat> starting tomorrow. Just come back out and you know have a good practice and just, you know just look forward. You know this game is over with and we gotta move forward with it. Stephen, how frustrating does it get for you guys to to see some some of the errors that are taking place, not just on offense but special teams too? It's very frustrating, <clears throat> you know, for. Last couple of weeks, you know, I, I never really pay attention to, you know, how the special teams, you know, are in the game. And, 
but you know afterwards, you know, I kind of figured, you know, that certain plays, you know, we, we could have made on special teams that made it, you know, might have been a you know a game changer. So it's very frustrating, and um, I mean, I mean, I, we just got to look forward and I mean, just try to fix the mistakes that we made. Is it just getting adjusted to what they do? Did they do different things than what you're expecting? Um, no, they didn't do pretty much nothing really different. It was just more of um, us in the first half executing, you know. Um, Getting in the backfield and um, staying on coverages and the t- t- small things like that, you know, those m- marginal mistakes, you know, it wasn't nothing like big that messed us up. It was just like the slightest little things that we needed to correct in the first half, and we did get it corrected in the second half. So, how frustrating was it on that uh, on the drive we needed to get a stop? It looked like you had a couple shots in the backfield, a couple missed tackles. Um, I mean, it's, it's plays like that and drives like that, you know, it's um. Uh, Bridgewater, the quarterback, man. I mean, he made a great play when he needed to, you know, and uh, we, we tried to get him down, and uh, the effort on our side was there, you know. It was just a matter of, you know, he he just made a great, great play when, he, when the time was needed, and uh, it hurt us, you know, in the end. So, Julian, I, I assume morale's probably not high in the locker room right now, obviously, but what's the message of the team right now moving forward? Um, we got to keep playing, you know. We got three games left. Um, We've been in this situation many times before, you know. This is probably, what the third or fourth year straight, you know. We've been in this type of situation, so we just got to play out the, um, the next couple games, and uh, you know, that's all we can do, honestly. So um, everybody knows that uh, the Big East is always um, just like a, a full season gauntlet. You know, everybody has a chance of winning it, so we just got to go out here and play these next three games. You know, Bruce and you really seem to develop a. Uh chemistry and really a momentum in that first half and early second really getting to the quarterback. Talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah, it's something that we, we, we've been talking about, you know, especially the second half of the season. You know, we wanted to really try to get after quarterbacks better, um, especially since we were going into um, teams that run more of a spread, you know, than the teams that we played in the past and uh, guys that are going to drop back and pass the ball. So it's one thing that we really tried to work on. Um, like I said, in practice and uh, this whole second half of the season. And hopefully we'll be able to rev it up and um, get more going out of these next three games. So, what did you see on that fourth one? Playing the four, four quarters of football. I mean, we made plays and spurs when we needed to make them, but we didn't finish the game. Yeah. They seemed like they really couldn't do much in the second half except for that one drive. You know, how frustrating is that? But, you know, yeah, it's, it's real frustrating, though, man. We moved guys around and we was able to stop them throughout the, throughout the third and fourth quarter. And, I mean, it just the main frustrating thing is just when we need to make plays, sometimes we couldn't do it or we had penalties. It's just, it's just stuff that we need to grow up from, something that we need to improve on because, uh, I mean, we can play good and we can play great when we, but if we put our mind to it. So, What did you see from where you were on that fourth and one? Um, the fourth and one, they ran the play that they got us in the first half, or like on the 50 yard run. And we knew it was coming because of the way they slide the backs and stuff like that. And we ran the play right into it. And uh, that guy, number 10, Brown, just made a hell of an effort to, to jump up. And we had him stop. We actually hit him in the backfield. But, and that, I mean, the spot was whatever. But I mean, I, I don't think he got it, but you know, that's, that's the official call. Thanks, Nigel. Uh, during this week, uh, during practice and stuff, and uh, you know, really been busting, busting my butt. So, you know, just expect to get in there. What was it you think the coaches saw that made them decide you were ready to play this game? Um, you know, just working hard. Uh, me and Jawan, you know, we you know have competition every day and push each other. So, you know, he just you know decided to throw me in there. Today, your first action, you know, when you're getting out there, what are yeah. the thoughts that run it through your head? What are you concentrating on? Uh, you know, just trying to make a play um, for the most part. You know, it's uh, nerve wracking, you know, being a freshman and stuff, but you just got to go out there and make a play and, you know, not really think about it. Yeah. Have you had a chance to think about a review when you're on the sideline? Or is that something you've got to watch yourself on tape to see? Yeah, you know, I got to watch myself on tape, you know, come in tomorrow and, uh, you know, go to work and get ready for uh, Cincinnati. And, uh, you know, you can't really. You know, live in today's moment. You know, we lost, and you know, we're in the Big East, so you know, we got to keep working. Did it help that you played a lot on special teams this year? To, I mean, kind of ease that nervousness a little bit. Oh yeah, bit. yeah, a lot. Um, you know, just getting used to you know the physicality of the game, and uh, you know the big guys in college football and stuff like that. So you know, it definitely helped.